Hello everyone, hope you're well. I'm here to introduce this vlog and say hello. And I wanted to say thank you so much for all your feedback and I'm really excited and happy that you guys are enjoying the vlogs. But to start off, I wanted to let you guys know that this video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. They are the platform that I've decided to build my own website from, which I'm excited to talk more to you guys about in this video. And Squarespace essentially is an all-in-one platform where you can design your own website, store, blog. There are so many different options for everybody. So don't forget to use my code, which I will pop up here, for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. And you're also able to get a two-week free trial. So don't miss out, and we'll talk more about it in the rest of the video. Hello everyone, this is not a great angle, but I don't have time to get my tripod out and do this properly because I've got to go. I have a hairdresser's appointment. I'm so excited, honestly. I am desperate to get my hair done and I don't actually even know what I'm going in for today, which sounds kind of strange, but I'm prepared to let the hairdresser roam free, do whatever she wants. I would like to say a massive thank you, massive thank you, to Sophia and Chinsia and I think it's Chinsia mainly who was talking about this but I've recently started watching YouTube again. When I don't film videos I don't watch YouTube as much and that might sound a bit strange but I think it's just because I feel so out of loop that I don't really watch as much but I've started re-watching their vlogs and in their most recent vlog Chinsia was talking about this. I literally got this shipped next day delivery from ASOS. I was like, I need this right now. And I do this hairstyle a lot, especially for work. I used to do this all the time. It's just basically like a slicked back bun. If you've got dirty hair, if you just, I love also, Chinsi was saying this, I love having hair out of my face. I just feel, I just feel like just free. Sometimes having my hair in front of my, my face, especially when I'm at work, just really irritates me. And she said she uses this to get this look and normally i use gel or mousse but this is a pomade and i feel like i've had this before first of all it smells incredible and in their vlog chinsia does a little bit of a action where she uses this and it looked so satisfying that i like i said i had to go and get it straight away so thank you so much used it on my hair today even though i'm going to the hairdressers hope it doesn't really mess it up but my hair it, it, was, it wasn't doing the most. Also, I wanted to talk about, because I feel like I'm gonna get questions on this vlog, my nails. And I just would like to also say that this is my new favorite nail polish brand. Oh, why? The focus on this camera is, honestly, when they get older, is terrible. This is Nailberry, and this is in the color Decadence. And it'll probably show better in different lighting, but it's basically like a gorgeous orangey, orange color and yeah this is literally my new favorite brand of nail polish if you're wondering what i've got on my lips today i recently got a few more lip products i've had this for ages this is just the laura mercier lip pencil in chestnut and i just have that filled in my lips i'm just checking i'm not late I recently got these lip glosses. If you have the Fenty Beauty lip glosses, these are such a good dupe and obviously they're like, what, a fourth of the price. And they're the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. They even look like the... Let me guess, see if I've got a Fenty gloss. They even look like the Fenty glosses, which I will say I still love these. Um, mine's got mascara on it. But they literally look like them too. And this is a really good dupe for the one I think she first came out with. This is the slightly lighter colour. And yeah, really, really love them. They are, what do they taste like? Even the brush is similar, like nearly identical. And like I said, you might be able to see me better in, in different lights. And also, look what bag I've got out. I literally haven't used this bag in like a year and a half maybe. And I just, to this day, it hurts my heart how I spent this much money on a bag. The Barbara who sits before you right now is like, oh my god, Barbara. But I love this bag so much and it is very timeless. Although I would say it was a very like in it bag for its time, I still think it's got so much durability because 
you know, it's a good size. It's not too big, it's not too small, though I kind of wish I had the smaller one now. And it kind of looks like a Kelly, which, you know, is maybe three times what this cost anyway. And it's just a great bag. I wear it slouched, like as slouched as possible, kind of like this. And then at the back here, you've got a great pocket, such a good like day bag. I've just got my Dior catch-all in this, which I got from, I feel like I got this from Vestier. And I'm going to the hairdresser, so I've got some snacks and lady products and makeup, even though I never touch my makeup up, barely ever. So I will be back with, I might do like a before, my hair shot and then like an after. I might also just show you guys my whole outfit. Be right back. This is such a typical Barb's outfit. My cardigan is from Zara and love this cardigan. So comfy. We all know I love a stripe. I've loved a stripe for years. Then I've just got a vest underneath it. My jewelry is mainly Zara. Jeans are actually really old Zara. If anyone knows a company that does a pair of jeans like this, please let me know because I would be prepared to spend some serious money on them. Would I get away with wearing no jacket with this? I don't know. I hope so, but I'm probably gonna bring something just to be on the safe side, although I'm probably just gonna be in the car and in the hairdressers. So this is the before. Obviously you can't really see anything because it's tied up, but ugh, my hair is, is not doing its most at the moment. Also, look at my baby, it's having babies. Look, I'm so proud. When, when we saw this last night, I was like, babe, Finley's having babies. We've called uh, our fiddle leaf Finley. So yeah, these are our little babies. So I'm at the hairdressers and I'm just in the car because I'm too excited to not show you this now. This is my hair and oh my God. May I just say, this is probably my favorite hair that I've had like ever. And I kind of hope that the lighting is showing you guys. This is gonna be my thumbnail. I am so ecstatic. It's just a fresh head of color is just life changing honestly and i just feel like i haven't had such a pretty like i really want to try and show you guys let me also put you i can't put you on the steering wheel um just so natural and pretty and i don't want to touch it too much because my hair gets greasy really fast but just really pretty 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 color i'm also here just having some dark chocolate cherry and do people say pecan or pecan whatever because i'm a little bit hungry i actually didn't have lunch because we're having i had quite a good breakfast but tonight we're getting our favorite takeaway this doesn't even feel like my hair ah i'm so excited can just everyone not really book her up because otherwise i won't get to see her so i'll leave her instagram down below honestly Alicia, if you see this, thank you. She really was really good at setting my expectations. I didn't want to go too light anyway, but I'm still astounded and I just have been since I was sitting in the chair. So yeah, just fresh, 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 fresh. What do we think? Do we like? Also, London is beautiful right now. When London weather is good, I just feel like there really isn't a more beautiful city. I'm going out with my old work colleagues tomorrow for a pub, um, outside pub lunch and I'm so excited. I've missed those girls so much. You know what song this day feels like? I will put it on now. Does anyone know this song? We just got home. The flat is a tip and this is all me by the way. It's all my doing. Sometimes when the place gets a bit messy, I just kind of roll with it and just add to it. Does anyone else do that? Like, I'm normally quite meticulous and then all of a sudden I'll be like, oh, I've left this here. Like, I've just got clothes piled up in the kitchen because I changed my outfit earlier. I have just texted my boyfriend. Also, feedback from the video about like boyfriend partner. I think it was annoying some of you, so I'll just go back to saying boyfriend. He sent me flowers. So. I just had to go to the other block of flats to pick it up because it, sometimes they send stuff to the wrong place. 
and I'm really excited. I sent him a hint that my favorite flower is in season recently, so that's probably why I got them. Look, I have a card. <laughs> it's funny because we were messing around yesterday. He said, because I love you and sorry they didn't have peonies, so I chose what I thought was cute. That's very sweet. They didn't have peonies? Really? And Bloom and Wild, what they normally do is the flowers will come kind of a little bit, not worse for wear, but they will come looking a bit sleepy. And then apparently they're supposed to like wake up. Set these up. They're not going to look the prettiest right now. So I don't think I'm going to show you guys them. But that was really sweet. That made my day. So as promised, these are what the flowers look like. Honestly, flowers just make me so happy. I've really turned into my mum in the last few years because she loves flowers. But I really followed the instructions. You know, it tells you to give them the food, cut their stems, give them water, obviously. And they just turned out really good. Oops, my finger. So, yeah. Who doesn't love flowers? which I did talk about at the beginning of this video. So like I said, make sure to check out my code for 10% off your very first purchase of a website or domain name and don't miss out on their two week free trial because it really gets you going with the use of the website and how to use things, the templates. For someone like me who really does struggle with 
the creative side and sometimes having a vision for what something was going to look like this really helped me out the great thing with the design element of the website is everything is so easy because they really do help you along the way but you can also make changes so for example if a template doesn't work 100 percent for you like it didn't for me you can change things around you can swap things around and alter them to suit your website and your needs also font wise and color wise it's really easy to create themes so for example i have my own little theme which i'm going to show you guys that i've created and the website goes around that theme so all your different pages can have a different colorway it also makes your website a little bit more fluid so it's not just like one tone and it's very boring whereas bringing all the tones together gives you again ideas creatively it also have 24 7 support so if you have a question that needs to be answered they're always there to help you and it's just been such an easy process and i said this in my last video honestly i didn't think i could do it and use it so easily but i'm surprised at myself and that's how i know that it's user friendly because someone like me who genuinely was afraid to make my own website has been able to do that honestly i am pooped i went to the gym today which insert clip here i have started going to the gym after many many years of not going to the gym and oh my god i am literally dead we were doing some things today that i honestly would never do on my own why is the car not starting there we go and we did like a whole like one of those body test things where you basically see all your stats which i know are not supposed to be super accurate they're meant to be kind of you know take it with a pinch of salt kind of thing but those numbers do not look very good let me tell you um so honestly i was so nervous for today and it was because of that like i i just knew getting measured i probably wouldn't get the kind of the kind of results that i i kind of thought and they were probably worse than i thought so yeah just the kick up the bum really so i'm gonna go home now shower and have some coffee honestly guys today i'll show you guys how much i worked today this is a lot for me this is my fitbit was giving me like little fireworks and stuff so this is like my little fitbit page for today i'm tired like really tired so oh my god and for some reason my fitbit said that i was swimming today which i definitely wasn't swimming but anyway regardless your girl is tired so today i went to see more properties i went to see three and i'm very much toying between renting a commercial workspace or a like home workspace so a studio or something would be ideal to work like from home and so that's where i went today so if these places look a bit sorry we have like a family group chat and my mom's going crazy looking at places around euston because i have a train station super close to me so euston would be another option otherwise i've come up with another option there's a lot of options basically so this is what i was looking at today really interesting i really like the area because it's very easy to get to it's about a 20 minute train drive for me and then it would be like 10 minute to each of these places so it's like half an hour 35 minutes door to door which really isn't bad if it's timed well lots of light and things like that in two of them which i really liked but it's kind of like oh, i don't know what i want i've been seeing a lot of places which is really cool like i'm not showing them all to you guys both commercial and more like residential and yeah it's just about kind of i haven't found one that i love yet that's the problem so i'm still the search and the hunt is still on you guys but I would love to know your feedback Honestly, talking a little bit about the weekend it was so nice we were blessed with such good weather like friday when i got my hair done the weather was glorious it was honestly beautiful what did i even do saturday i can't remember oh i went out with some girls from my old work you know when you're just like what was i doing we had a pub lunch it was just glorious weather again then on sunday we went out to fulham which is quite far for us but we went to a restaurant we went to go life anyone's been there also spotted some maiden chelsea cast members there so if anyone ever wants to go uh, have a look then that's where they hang out supposedly so it was just such a lovely lovely weekend if you don't follow me on instagram i'm gonna try and post more so definitely make sure to do that 
and yeah just i'm sure lots of you guys had such good weekends too it was just so nice and i can't wait for bank holiday hope bank holiday is going to be just as nice and warm but fingers crossed so yeah what did you guys do on the weekend let me know down below i would love to know because there is nothing more exciting i think we're all like itching for May 17th. Is it May 17th and then June 21st? It's honestly like this itch that I just can't scratch. Um, I'm sure everyone feels the same. If you guys enjoyed this video, I will see you all very soon. Let me know what you think and whether you like this style vlog, a little bit more weekendy, uh, showing you guys what I'm up to, getting ready. And I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to check out Squarespace for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. And I'll see you all very soon. Take care, guys. Bye.